The fight between Thor and Iron Man is a deeply emotional and intense encounter that takes place in the aftermath of the Civil War event. So, let's dive right into the details of that amazing fight. Setting the stage. Thor has returned from the void after Ragnarok and is in the process of rebuilding Asgard on Earth, specifically in the barren deserts of Oklahoma. This new Asgard is meant to be a safe haven for the Asgardian people, and Thor is deeply committed to this mission. Iron Man's Arrival Tony Stark, also known as Iron Man, arrives at the site of the new Asgard. He comes not just as a friend or fellow Avenger, but as a representative of the government and the Superhuman Registration Act. Tony believes it is his duty to ensure that all superhumans comply with the law, and this includes Thor. The confrontation begins. Tony tries to speak to Thor about the necessity of registering under the new law. He attempts to reason with him, emphasizing that the world has changed and that everyone must follow the rules. However, Thor is not interested in bureaucratic discussions. He is already seething with anger towards Tony, not just because of the law, but because of the personal betrayal he feels. The Clone, Ragnarok Thor confronts Tony about the clone named Ragnarok that Tony created during the Civil War. This clone, made from Thor's own genetic material, was used as a weapon against heroes who did not comply with the Registration Act. The clone caused immense destruction and pain, actions that Thor would never have condoned. To Thor, this was not just a misuse of his powers, but a deep violation of his identity and legacy. The Fight As Tony continues to press the issue, he decides to take a more forceful approach. He fires a non-lethal repulsor blast at Thor, intending to subdue him. However, this action only ignites Thor's fury. With a single, powerful blow, Thor strikes Tony, severely damaging his Iron Man armor. The force of Thor's hit sends Tony crashing into the ground, showing just how outmatched he is. Thor's Fury Thor stands over Tony, his rage palpable. He declares that Tony's actions during the Civil War were a betrayal of their friendship and of Thor's very being. Thor's words are filled with anger and disappointment. He makes it clear that creating the clone was an unforgivable act. He warns Tony never to try to control him or use his identity again. Thor's power is on full display, and he makes it known that he could end this fight, and Tony, if he chose to. Emotional Aftermath The confrontation is more than just a physical battle, it's a deeply emotional clash. Thor's fury is not just about the immediate conflict, but about the broader implications of Tony's actions. This fight marks a turning point, re-establishing Thor as a powerful and independent force within the Marvel Universe. Conclusion This battle serves as a powerful statement of Thor's independence and strength. It highlights the deep rift between him and Iron Man following the Civil War. Thor's return is marked by this dramatic and emotional confrontation, setting the tone for his renewed presence in the Marvel Universe. For readers, these pages capture the intensity, emotion, and power of Thor, making it a memorable and significant part of his story. Stay up to date with the latest in the Marvel Universe, epic comic book battles, and exclusive insights into your favorite characters. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of fans who love diving deep into the world of superheroes. Turn on notifications so you never miss an update.